new experiment we're going to try and get rid of that brown sludge growing on my roots there doesn't really cause too much of a problem but it may be a precursor to root rot and uh, we're going to see if we can uh, get rid of it I was uh, shopping online recently and I found this product called Orca it's probably been around for a long time but it's the first time uh, I saw it there so it's supposed to have both beneficial bacteria and mycorrhiza in them. Normally I only find one or the other and I have to buy two bags of each. But this one has uh, both in there so I thought I'd give it a try. So we're just going to add a little dose on top here. And there's a little white, uh, I don't know what that is in there. But it's slowly working its way through the nutrient solution there so definitely put in a bit not exactly sure what the direction said but uh, I guess I've never been one to read the directions that well but uh, I think I got enough in there here we go I have no idea what motivated me to cover this with foil tape but covered the whole thing with foil tape I'm thinking that maybe we should keep the light out not that uh, it'll make any difference I mean if it is a cyanobacteria then they, they, they work fine with or without light but whatever is in the orca I thought uh, maybe we keep the light out maybe it might work better so test I'd say three days so here we go three days later and again kind of regret taping it all up with foil tape but uh, sometimes you do things yeah sorry about that I'm gonna have to wait till I take off all this tape so we can take a look remember three days later this is three days later now and here we go So three days with Orca running under the uh, metal halide lamp at about 5,000 Kelvin with an air stone. Looks like it drank up a good amount of uh, solution there. And there is the roots. Kind of unsure at the moment. Um, is it better? Is it not better? I don't know. It does look like I got a lot more root growth, probably maybe three times, four or five times more new root growth and it's not covered in the brown stuff. It looks like the brown stuff has slowed down, has very very little of any new growth. So I think the orca is working, I mean we got a lot of new root growth. Anyway here it is, this is the original day one no orca and here we go back to three days later it's probably just a slight bit less or exactly the same amount of brown stuff but a lot more new white roof growth so I'd have to say I am unsure if it's working or not working Unfortunately, I only had one plant, so there's no control plan to see. But uh, undetermined at this time. However, the plant is better off for using the orca. So I have to go with. Mm, yes, good product. I think we're going to run the run the experiment a little longer. I'm going to add some more orca and run it for two days more. So last look at it here, three days later. Here we go, two more days later, five days in total. Didn't use the foil tape this time. Luckily we had a fabric pot there. It's two, two days later than previous, so five days total. I added one more dose of orca and put it back under same lamp on the same table 
And here we go. Let's take a look at the results. Five days later, two doses of Orca and a lot, lot more of root growth. And, uh, way, way more than the original and a lot more than the three days. No new brown growth. So whatever that brown thing is, it definitely stopped growing and has not affected any of the new roots. So here we go back to the first day covered in the brown stuff fifth day third day a lot more growth a lot less brown fifth day i guess after five days i can conclude that the orcas and the product very good and it works keeps the water clean stops the whatever is growing there and uh, lets the new stuff grow out so I'd have to say, yes, it does what it's supposed to do.